Okay, everyone, looking for something fun to do that's kind of sciencey that actually gets you outside when it's cool outside? Oh yeah, you're gonna wanna grab the family, head out kind of in the middle of the night and look up to the sky. Stargazers and sky enthusiasts get ready for a major meteor shower. But what's great about it is there's a higher uh, number of fireballs that you might see. The lurid meteor shower is the second major one of 2020, happening this week when the Earth moves into the orbital plane of Comet Thatcher. The reason they call it the Lyrids is because these meteors, if you, if you trace the path back, you know, you only see it for a split second, but if you imagine tracing it back where it started, they come from, they appear to come from um, the constellation Lyra. We spoke with Kevin Schneider, a historian at the Lowell Observatory, to break it all down for us. On any given night, we might see a shooting star, and that's just a piece, of, mostly a sand sized piece of debris from comets or asteroids or other space junk. But then we have comets that pass toward the inner part of the solar system, and as they do that, they warm up and quite often they'll get tails. And over time, those tails every year will pass through um, the inner part of the solar system. In the past, the Lurid Meteor has had some brilliant outbursts. Here is video from NASA of the Lurid Meteor Shower from 2014. The meteor shower has been going on for several days now and will continue for several more. But the peak time to see it? If you go out on the night of the 21st, late at night, um, you're, you're liable to see more than if you went out, you know, three days earlier. You'll see about 10 to 20 meteors per hour. Of course, Arizona's perfect weather is playing a role too. There's going to be virtually no moonlight because we're really close to new moon. And so that's nice that, you know, you can really look at any part of the sky, but the best place is to look at the darkest part. Which would be to the northeast after midnight. And if you can't make it outside, if you miss anything, but you want to learn more about the meteor shower, the observatory is actually going to be doing a live broadcast uh, or a live feed, of course, on their website on Tuesday night at 9 p.m. We've got all the information on our website.